Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. Assume that x1, x2, x7 are real numbers such that three equations are given to us. We have to find the value of 16x1 plus 25x2 plus 36x3 up to 100x7. Now to solve this problem, certainly they don't want us to find out the values of x1, x2, x3 up to x7 because we know that is not possible when we don't have seven equations for seven variables. So the logic is how we can leverage these three equations only and try to get this particular value what we need in the final. Now let's go to the coefficients of x1, x2, x3 in the first equation and observe what they are. We will write down what they are. I can see here 1 square, this is 2 square, this is 3 square, this is 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square. So, and similarly you can see in the next one we have 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. So, Basically, we have in the first equation quotients of x1, x2, x3 up to x7 are 1 square to 7 square. In the next equation, 2 square to 8 square. And in the next equation, we have 3 square to 9 square. What we need to find out is quotients as 4 square to 10 square. So, now what we have to understand is now how to get 4 square from 1 square, 2 square, 3 square or how to get 5 square from 2 square, 3 square, 4 square or how to get 10 square from 7 square, 8 square and 9 square. Now what is that we are, we are going to do now is we generalize this and write down the first quotient in the quotients of all the variables in the equation as n minus 1 whole square. In the second equation, the coefficients let us say are n square and we have here n plus 1 whole square. What we need to find out is n plus 2 whole square. Now in this suppose you take value of n equals to 2, then you have 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and 4 square. If you take a value equals to let us say 3 then 2 square, 3 square, 4 square what we need to find out is 5 square. If I take n equals to 4 then we have 3 square, 4 square, 5 square and what we need to find out is 6 square. So now we have to understand how to get n plus 2 whole square by using how to get n plus 2 whole square by using n minus 1 whole square n square and n plus 1 whole square. Now for that what we will do, we will first see what are the values we need to get. n plus 2 whole square is n square plus 4 n plus 4. So we need to get n square plus 4 n plus 4 by leveraging n square minus 2 n plus 1 comma n square and n plus 1 whole square that is n square plus 2 n plus 1. Now we need to get n square plus 4 n plus 4 by using these three values. Let us see what is n plus 1 whole square minus n minus 1 whole square. That is equals to 4 n. What is n plus 1 whole square minus n square that is 2n plus 1. What is n square minus of n minus 1 whole square that is 2n minus 1. Now we will write down n square as it is for 4n we need 4n we will leverage this for 4 what we will do we will subtract this minus this. So let's write down what we are saying now is 
we got n square n square plus 4n plus 4 is equal to n square as it is then we have n plus 1 whole square minus n square plus 2 times of n plus 1 whole square minus n square minus n square minus n minus 1 whole square. Let us simplify this. You will be surprised to see what you are going to get finally is 3 into n plus 1 whole square minus n square plus n minus 1 whole square. Now if you substitute the values in the right hand side what we will get Three into third equation right hand side is what twenty three minus second equation is twelve plus one. So that is equals to three thirty three plus one that is equals to three thirty four. So what we realized finally after solving the problem is this equation can be obtained by subtracting third minus two and multiply with the 3 and add to the first equation. See now 9 minus 4 is 5, 3 fives are 15, 15 plus 1 is 16. Similarly 16 minus 9 is 7, 7 threes are 21, 21 plus 4 is 25, 25 minus 16 is 9, 9 threes are 27, 27 plus 9 is 36, 36 minus 25 is 11, 11 into 3 is 33, 33 plus 16 is 49. 49 minus 36 is 13, 13 threes are 39, 39 plus 25 is 64. Similarly, 64 minus 49 is 15, 15 threes are 45, 45 plus 36 is 81, 81 minus 64 is 17, 17 threes are 51, 51 plus 49 is 100. If you are able to look at this problem and immediately you realize that array do 3 minus 2 multiply with 5 plus 1, then you are a genius. Super. You did very nice, but I was unable to. I tried for a couple of hours with the different different options. Then I thought, let me generalize this and try to leverage the values and get it. And finally, what we understood is that third equation minus second equation to multiply with the three, add to the first equation, you will get the fourth equation, whatever you need. Looks very simple, right? Unless you get an idea on that. So that's one interesting problem I just thought of sharing with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.